Ladies and gentlemen, there are more incidents of orcas sinking boats, ramming boats as they're trying to sail. And they said it's been going on for five years and these whales are going at it and they are going after everything expensive yachts fishing boats motor boats it don't matter and this is happening off the coast of spain portugal france and morocco and i did a story on this a few years ago but man they are stepping it up and the scientists have been wondering why now, of course I, I i know why trauma it's probably trauma. You know, everything on this earth have suffered at the hands of these devils, for real. So a multinational group of orca experts met and they were sponsored by the governments of Spain and Portugal. They released a report outlining why they think this may be happening what originally appeared to be attacks on more than 673 boats since 2020 now seems more likely to be a bunch of bored teenage orcas looking for something to do me i think it's trauma i really do so they started a fad of playing with boat rudders a report comes two weeks after the first ramming of the season, which resulted in a sailboat sinking at the southern entrance. Wow, right, right off of Spain, they sunk a boat this year, just two weeks ago. On the morning of May 12th, a group of orcas snuck up on a 50-foot sailboat and drove at its rudder damaging the boat, causing a leak, and eventually sank the boat. A crew of two members were evacuated by a nearby oil tanker. Mm -mm -mm. These encounters have been going on for five years, with the first documented encounter happening May of 2020. Since then, at least five sailboats and two Moroccan fish boats have been sunk. It starts in the spring and goes way off the charts in the summer and goes way into the fall. That's because the whales and the boats are in the same area at the same time. This is what one of the scientists say. A group of orcas interacting with vessels because they are being enriched by the experience. So anyway, the sea is very boring for animals. I don't believe that. I don't believe it's boring to them. Just like life on land is not boring to people. So how do you know it's boring to them? I don't believe that for one bit all the life that's in the ocean, they're bored. I don't believe you. I mean, these are people just taking an educated guess. And y'all, they talk as if they are stating a fact. And I don't believe what they're saying is factual at all. You're telling me that a whale is bored. <laughs> okay. So they spend their whole life and existence in the water bored. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. And I think the people saying it are idiots. I really truly believe they are idiots. So anyway, y'all, um, this is what this one scientist is saying. The sea is a very boring place for an animal. I don't believe her. Imagine if you're a dog or some other man mammal, you can interact with objects around you, but the sea there is not much for orcas to interact with. So they play with the rudders. Okay, whatever. Whatever, scientists. So anyway, you know, it, is it dangerous? Yeah, it's dangerous, you know, for them. But 
how many orcas have been killed by these boats and these yachts and these oil tankers out there? You know, yeah, that, that leaves a lot of trauma, a lot. So they said, you now these are young orcas and they like to bud heads with boat rudders. Okay, you know, these scientists, y'all, as you can see, they don't know everything. And I really don't believe them with this board story. Those animals have been living in the ocean for thousands of years. Now, all of a sudden, they're bored. I don't believe that. So orcas are also called killer whales, are actually the largest member of the dolphin family. Dolphins, in turn, are a type of tooth whale, a group that include porpoises, beaked whales, and sperm whales. This type of behavior isn't surprising given that orcas have culture, exhibit uh, coordinated behavior, shared knowledge, and long memories. They are sophisticated. Yeah, well, you know, I'm sure they have a lot of knowledge about being down there in the ocean and know what's in the ocean. And so they're saying that these attacks, they're not finding any evidence that it's being led by older female orcas in revenge for boats harming their young male babies or young babies. That's what some people have suggested at times. The notion took uh, by storm on the internet in 2023 with uh, Sink the Rich mugs and t-shirts featuring killer whales <laughs> were cropping up. So despite the number of, support, of reports that suggest that it is a female revenge has uh, tracked down and it never happened. So they're saying that's not true, you know, that it's being led by female orcas. That, you know, that might be true, but I don't think it's one gender of these orcas doing it. It's probably both genders are doing it out there. So they said they are trying to find ways to put better protections in place. But I mean, how, how do you know? You know, I'm sure all of the boats out there are not being attacked by orcas. It's probably just a few that they can get a hold of out there. But I'm sure there's many ships and boats that go down in that area and they're probably not attacked at all. So, <clears throat> so they, they're calling it a strange fad among young orcas. I don't know. I, I don't know if I believe these scientists. I really think they don't know enough about this behavior and they're just taking a guess on what they think it is. And that's my opinion. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.